right. This is Blazing Deserts, the new expansion to Battle Brothers. We're going to be starting a brand new game today, and we're going to be uh, exploring this this new expansion, which is based on sort of a desert theme, you know. Uh, Manhunters and Southern Mercs are two of the new origins. The third is Gladiators, which I think probably almost everybody is starting with. Um, I've done a little vote. And it was a tie between Southern Mercs and Manhunters. So I'm just going to decide. Um, so Manhunters is kind of a very... Yeah, it's a very unique play style. I've read up a little bit about these guys. It's kind of like Militia, where you have 16 men. But uh, some of them are slaves and can only go to level 7. And the, uh, the ones that aren't slaves can actually whip the slaves and give them stat buffs and stuff. Um... Not really interested in exploring that right off the bat. Um, why don't we just play as Southern Mercenaries, which is ba basically, it's like the generic start, except that you're from the South. Um, this should be, this should be kind of interesting. What should we name our guys? Um, <laughs> what, uh, what, what cryptocurrency themed Southern accent only, please? All right, all right, Hab all right, Habibi, I will do my best. All right, um, let's see. I've done Linkies, I've done Ethereum, I've done I've done Bitcoin. We need we need a crypt we need a crypto themed company name. Um, uh, let's see, Car Cardano, Cardano, Cardano Cads. Here we go. <laughs> that'll that'll do. Uh, let's see if there's the most important part of the game. Let's uh, see if there's any new banners. Tether tr Troublemakers? That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Tether Troublemakers. I'll use that. Oh, did they really not add any new banners? Cucked. Oh, wait. No, no. There's new ones. Okay. Well, we're from the south, so we got to use a uh, southern-themed banner. Well, we don't have to, but I'm, I am going to. Uh, this this looks good. There's like a money symbol there, I think. We're we're southern mercenaries. We're in it for the coins, so. Okay, we're gonna set expert difficulty on economy, expert difficulty on combat, Iron Man mode, low starting funds. Uh, what is this new option? Unexplored map, an optional way to play the game where the map is entirely unexplored and not visible to you at the start of the campaign. You'll have to discover everything on your own, which makes your campaign more difficult, but potentially also more exciting. Well, that's interesting. Um, that's that's really interesting. I'm not sure... Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It, it's it's definitely going to make the game a little more... There's another, another element to it where it's like, wow, I haven't... I don't know where the towns are. Oh, cool, I found this town. Why wouldn't someone in the world know where civilization is? Well, you wouldn't necessarily know where every, like, bumfuck city is, you know what I mean? Like, t like town and village, the little ones. Um, back in medieval towns, uh, medieval times, I'm sure that there were little villages that nobody really knew existed, except for, except for, like, you know, traders and stuff. Like, if you were a, if you were just some random vagabond, you know, why would you, why would you know that there's a town in the swamp somewhere, you know, many, many, many miles away? Um... You know where the nearby stuff was. Yes, that's sure. That's that's true. But I mean, I'm talking like, let's say I start all the way in the north. There's no particular reason why my character would know exactly where the cities in the south were. You know, like my, my guy's probably never been to the desert. So I can, I can kind of see it. Um, but outside of like a realism perspective, I think it might be interesting. Uh, we, we will not play with that the first the first time. But maybe, maybe next, uh, maybe next time. Haven't actually loaded this um, yet on the expansion, so it may crash. Uh, we will we will find out because I am on Linux. So, all right, no. You could have stayed home, never left town, just lived your your days laboring for some vizier. Instead, you took up the sword, scrounged what little money the gilder had shown upon you, and started a band of mercenaries. Life as a crownling has taken you places that most others never see. 
In a sense, you've carved open doors and avenues through violence. But the years have slowly weighed down your neck with a nasty truth. You're barely a step above a brigand. You get hired by locals to do simple things for simple pay and get sent on your way. You want the tether troublemakers to be bigger than that. You want your company shown to the vizier's offices. You want it to, ga to gain the glory it deserves. And maybe you want to even travel north to faraway lands. Hell yeah. Maybe in the north they treat a mercenary with respect. Not really. Alright. Well, we've got our boys Zahiri and Tariq, whose names are going to be changed very soon. Uh, yeah, the music's good. Kind of reminds me of uh, Act 2, Diablo 2. Hey, Severus. You bought the DLC through the Overhype Studio website, but there's no download link. Oh, no. <laughs> That's, uh... That sounds irritating, my friend. Alright. So we'll name these uh, gentlemen after people in chat right now. So we've got Enish. This, this, uh, this track is pretty lit. Shenanigans. Why am I capitalizing the S? Your name just barely fits in here, man. Absolutely mugged. See, they're teaching you what it's like to live in the world of Battle Brothers, where you get robbed all the time. If you find a gen, wish for more wishes. Oh, I will. We'll see what horrible things happen there. Severus. Alright, let's see what we actually started with here. So, we've got... Um, everybody's level 1. Pretty basic start. Um, we've got a gentleman with the new Fire Lance, which I believe functions as both a spear and a quasi-ranged weapon, where you can use it one time and then it just becomes a crappy spear. Um, looks like we've got Thrust, we've got uh, Ignite. There's no Spear Wall here, interestingly. Uh, 40 to 60 hit point damage. Whew. Plus 40% chance to hit. Oh, Coom. Sounds great. Uh, everybody is a companion, by the way. So it really is just like the Northern Mercenary start. Alright. So this guy has no traits. Oh, let's look at our food. We got some Southern provisions. This, uh, got this rice bowl stuff. <laughs> Alright, so Rogue Shenanigan starts with a two-handed weapon. It's a mallet. That's pretty solid. Uh, he's brave. He's Spartan, so he doesn't eat much. Um, we all know what a two-handed mallet is. Their armor is really not half bad. 50 armor, 30 for the helmet, 40 for this helmet, 30 for this one, 60 for this one. Damn, this is like the Southern Gambeson, I guess. This guy's an archer. Um, composite bow, that's new. I'm not, I'm not quite understanding what the difference is between this and a, let's see, 40 to 55 damage. It's certainly better than a hunting bow, or not a hunting bow, but a short bow. I think the range is reduced, perhaps. Which is totally fine by me. He's got two stars in archery, so we're going to try to keep him alive. Um, Rogue Shenanigans has two stars in melee skill, one star in melee defense. Very good. And Enish looks like he's kind of meant to be your, your, uh, your sergeant. Let's look at perks. Uh, nothing has changed as far as this. There's there's no uh, new ones, although I think some of the perks themselves have changed. I read that Indomitable costs like 5 AP now, and Adrenaline costs 1 AP rather than 0. So, uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Alright, um... It's gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see what changed, but yeah, I hear Indom Cycling is, uh, over and done with. We're going to be building our, our boy here with a lot of, uh, our ranged guy with a lot of resolve, because my understanding is that Fearless, let's look for Fearless, Fearsome, Fearsome, Fearsome rather, um, has been buffed. So if, if you, um, do at least one point of damage, you trigger a morale check as usual, but the new thing is there's a penalty to their morale check, which is 20% of your resolve. So I've been kind of hanging out in the, in the Discord for this game, and they were talking about how you could potentially build, like, ranged guys with a lot of resolve and just make everybody uh, flee. So we're going to try to do something like that uh, with with uh, Severus here. Should be interesting. Okay. Well, that's about it for the introduction. Uh, let's take a look at the map. So the map is, from what I understand, bigger now. Oh, yeah. So we've got the north here. We've got the middle three three houses as usual, and down south we have the city-states, which are sort of three new nations in and of themselves, which are just one city each. 
a large and rich city-state that thrives on trade at the edge of the desert. We, we were uh, starting out in Tarwa, a uh, large and rich city-state that thrives on the edge of the desert, blah blah blah, I guess it says the same thing each time. Alright, is there a port here? It'd be pretty sick if there was a, if it was possible to have a port to one of these cities and then go straight up to the north. Just trying to look at what kind of map we started with here. There's a, there's a port, there's a port here, so we can go to the north that way. Um, from Jaden Sea, that's kind of cool. So there's a new thing called the arena that I want to check out immediately. However, I don't know where it is or how to do it. So let's just take a look at the first city-state. There's a whole lot more shit going on here. Uh, we have 1,900 gold. Actually, wow, we set this to poor and we still have 1,900. That's that's not bad. Got some new backgrounds here. Um, indebted. I wonder if this guy can only go up to level 7. Like in the Manhunter's start. Yeah, this game is super unforgiving, Alba Rizuko. Okay, we've got our usual cripples here to hire. He's got two lazy eyes and a crooked, <laughs> crooked gap-filled smile. Mm. Cell sword we can't afford. Um, Nomad, he's new. Uh, worn down by the sands of a standing with a constitution of a man. I bet his fatigue is really high. Very expensive to hire, though. Uh, got a beggar. We've got a manhunter. That's that's the slaver, guys. Interesting. Uh, more of these indebted slaves. Got some tailors. And another cripple. So we might hire some guys, but first, let's take a look at this alchemist. This is new. Um, you can buy potions now. Holy shit, you can just buy these potions. Amazing. Cat potion, poison oil, antidote, flash potions. Yeah, there's these like explosive bombs that you can use now. Uh, poachers just spawned on higher terrain, kind of bad. Um, I would say the game is unforgiving, but only if you make mistakes. Um, if if you make zero mistakes, the game is pretty, uh, really not 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 that bad at all. Uh, especially if you understand all the little aspects of it. I just learned something the other day, uh, which changes the game entirely. Which is that if you act first and press the retreat button, nothing will chase you. So you can actually get away from dogs and stuff that way. Two-handed flanged mace, day one, an arena? Oh no. So this is the new weapon that I'm super excited about, is the handgun. Um, which is this huge AoE ranged weapon. Uh, with not, not too much range, but it hits a bunch of guys. I would like to get one of these, but it's 4,000 gold, so we can't afford it. Um, fire potions are 750 gold apiece. It's destroyed on use, and this is all the new AoE stuff. Um, there's also fire lances for sale here. We could afford one of those. Let's hold up. Um, let's see, anything at the Weaponsmith interesting? Day one. Grim Kuchel. There's a named uh, one-handed mace, but certainly we can't afford that. Hey, there's a battle whip. Kind of cool. Oh, did they did they buff the... Oh. Hmm. Nomad Sling. Yeah, that, that looks like it does more damage than before. Interesting. Any cheap stuff at the marketplace? Perhaps something damaged? Nope. A Saif. It's a new kind of weapon, 35 to 40 damage. Uh, some southern helmets that are damaged, I guess. That could be worth getting. And a bunch of, uh... Alright, spices, that's a trade good. We could buy that and sell it elsewhere. Some dyes. Wow, that's a lot of trade goods. Wow. Okay, so we have 10 more days on food and a bunch of days on money, so we can definitely buy some stuff here. Um, I'm going to pick up some tools just a, just a little bit. Trade is slightly smarter now that towns care about how far away a source is now. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, here's the arena, okay. Two skull thing. Uh... Three men, okay. Three men, hold up. Um, this isn't what I had in mind. Let's say this isn't what I had in mind. Can I go back and do it now? I, oh, fuck me, I can't. Alright, I wonder if you if you click yes, I want to do it. Um, if you can come back and do it later the same way you can with uh, contracts. 
we'll, we'll see about that. Is there anything new to do at the temple? No. Alright, let's just use our starter three guys and equip them as best we can. You can yeet away. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for the future. That's okay, we'll, we'll do some contracts here. Uh, and then we'll we'll level up our guys, basically. You need to equip the three collars. Yeah, you're right, you're right, I heard about that. Okay. So we have 50 armor and about 30 to 40 head armor on each of these guys. So what, what can we do? Um, let's, let's buy the sick helmet. Boom. And this sick helmet. Boom. Yeah. It's not really a good idea, typically, to use two-handers on day one, as far as I understand it in this game. Because uh, shields are just really, really good. But it's kind of hard to turn down the mallet. Um, alrighty. I might... I kind of I kinda want to pick up some throwing spears. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up... Uh... Oh, there's no armor. Okay, let's just head out. Let's just do a basic contract. Alright. They want me to destroy sand... sand mites? Oh, nomads. Uh, no, we're not slavers. We are just southern mercenaries. There is a slaver start, though. Alright, we're just gonna go out with our original three guys. And, uh... The game should... Should scale to that. So we won't just get owned. Time for some pest control. Golden tents. What about alchemist bombs? Um, I didn't have the... They were 750 gold apiece, so I didn't want to buy them just yet. Some nomad cutthroats. That's like... it's like eight. I only have three guys. Uh, maybe we should hire a few more dudes. Huh. Thought the game would, uh, scale a little... a little more than that. I was gonna grab some more dudes real quick. Oh, wait a minute, it's gonna be nighttime. Let's just do it. I don't know if any of these guys have ranged, or else I'd fight at night. Okay, yeah, there's only six. We should be probably okay. Assuming these are the same as thugs. Got a cleaver. We got a weapon I don't recognize. Um, looks like some kind of one-handed weapon. All this stuff is one-handed. Um, although we're outnumbered, which is not so good. And they all have shields. Oh, wow. The range is actually kind of a problem. Okay, let's wait. Let them come to us. Click the hex button at the top. Oh, well, that's awesome. Ask them if they want to do a pillow fight instead. Yeah, I mean, they've got all these beds. So I want to... <laughs> I just want to hang out, bros. Alright, um, these guys are going to act. I'm actually going to wait on rogue shenanigans because I want to go up and, and do a shatter, probably. Okay, they were too smart for that. Kind of finally see obstacles, yeah. Alright, so ignite... Does 40 to 60 damage. My understanding is that, yeah, it attacks in a line. So what we're going to do is move here. It's not bad. All right, we hit the guy with no shield. Unfortunately, that guy blocked the shot. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to want to move my boy back, probably. So he doesn't just get memed on by these dudes. He, he, I didn't buy a melee weapon for him because I messed up. Um, and we miss. Yeah, I should have hired more dudes. This fight may go poorly. Any other perks reworked or buffed? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe. These guys seem a little stronger than, uh, than thugs. So what's this now? Uh, distracted. 35% less damage, 35% less initiative. They kicked sand on me. We don't have a kick sand ability. Okay, morale down on that guy, very good. Okay. I really messed up with uh, not buying this guy a melee weapon. 
36. However, I do get to do this. Attack all three. Yeah, adrenaline costing uh, AP is very, very bad. Okay, that's good that he's shielding. Nice. Oh god. <laughs> Not good. 5% chance to hit, 21%, 31. Clearly, I messed up the the start, but uh, we'll we'll try to survive. These these are stronger than thugs, I'm convinced. You can pretty much slaughter thugs on day one in the base game. This was a one skull mission too. Usually, um, when you have only like three guys, the game scales these things um, down quite a lot. You know where you should only be facing like four or five thugs from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, there's, there's no way you could win this with just three guys. I guess the game doesn't scale things down anymore. I think it does. I just think this is a new kind of encounter, right? Um, with, uh, with, with nomads. Let me just restart and actually take it seriously. Um, we'll just do the exact same stuff. Six to seven thugs is what you'd expect. Yeah, but those guys all had shields. <laughs> and uh, typically, typically the thugs did not all have shields. Well, two of them didn't, but... How the wildlife is. Thugs, thugs can have shields, but almost every single one of those dudes had shields. Yeah, that was a mulligan, now we're serious, absolutely. I had to, I had to test some things, you know. They might have just high-rolled equipment. Eh, fair point. I should have just fled from that and uh, picked up the new guys like I intended to. I wanted to do my first fight in the arena anyway, so... Because um, that definitely will be scaled to three guys. At least I assume so. Alright, new map. Uh, not so different from the old map. I still am kind of curious if there can be a port on these desert cities. Oh shit, there can be! Sick. Alright. There's sand thugs. Well, they certainly have... Uh, different equipment. Alright, let's rename our guys, so I'll give it the same three names, Enish. Throw shenanigans. And this time Severus gets to be the archer. Same same exact same exact guys on the start. See if there's any uh, stuff to buy. Oh this is new. Light Southern Mace. Hmm. We want we want to um, just pick up spears to be honest, because our because our melee attack is not very good. But it doesn't look like there's any of those available. I assume that the scythe scythe has uh, some kind of bonus. Uh, there's a war fork for sale. Hard to turn that down on day one. Is is there an arena here? Uh, temple weaponsmith alchemist arena. Okay, there's an arena. Two skull. Two recently retired desert bandits. <laughs> okay. Three versus two. We could probably do that. Um, sure. I have to think it over. So we get 590 crowns if we win the arena fight. Uh, we don't get any. We don't get any loot from this apparently. Sick. Who's gonna get the war fork? What? Stormworm? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to get tricked. Oh, we could uh, drink a potion of knowledge. That's kind of cool. These last for a day now, by the way, these potions. Hey, Green Eggs, how you doing, man? Hey there, desert boys. <laughs> Hell yeah. So now we don't need to hire anybody, because we can only send three guys into the arena anyway. So I'd like to kind of see how this goes. Um, 
Got my Warfork on the bow guy. We can swap to that when we end up getting uh, overrun. Did I get a new microphone? I did not. Is it, uh, is it louder or something? Does it sound different? I can move it away from my face if that's a problem. My voice sounds different. Um, I've been sick. I've been coughing a lot. Does that, uh, does that sound like it? What's, what's going on here? Alright, is there any, uh, armor that I can buy for cheap? There is. There's that. There's a couple helmets just like before. Still last for three days on this. Put on these nice helmets. Um, put on the 40 armor on this guy. As far as the war fork goes, I, I almost want to put it on rogue shenanigans. Um, so that he's not... You know, so that he's more likely to hit things. Although he does have the most... Um, Melee skill, so he can probably use that. Nah, we'll, 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 we'll keep it like this. Alrighty, um... Oh, let me, uh... Silence my phone here. <laughs> Alright, so what I wanted to do is wait a minute while camped so that this helmet gets repaired, yeah? 97... Shouldn't need melee on an archer. You're probably right, Rogue Shenanigans, but I don't... I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I accept. So we go to the inventory, we put our collars on. Slaves, get your ass back here. Alright. We go in. Let's give the crowd something to cheer for. Uh, yeah, and Swell Dormer, you should, uh, you should turn off all of your modifications and, uh, try it after that, because probably most of them will be invalidated by the, by the expansion for the time being. Hey, Mr. Elstrom, how you doing, man? Hey, Meryl. Alrighty. Welcome to the arena. We can't leave. We can't flee. <laughs> We've just got, uh, to duke it out. And my composite bow does not have enough range, so again, we wait. Um, these are Nomad Outlaws, and I think before they were Nomad something else. These these guys may be the level 2 dudes, so we could actually have problems in this fight. Um, these are Raiders? Oh god. We're level 1. Perhaps I shouldn't have done this. Okay. Um, what we're going to do, I think... Let's see. He's going to move forward and not be able to attack, so we should wait a turn. This guy can probably move forward and attack if that's... What is that weapon? I have not seen that weapon. That's that's new. Um, it looks like it might be a two-handed sword. We could just walk up and shoot him. Uh, actually, I could walk up like, like this. But they act before me, so that would be kind of bad. He's got double grip. It's one-handed. Ah! It's really smart, Rogue Shenanigans. I didn't realize you could uh, see that. Okay, that means he can almost certainly move up and attack for 4, four AP. Um, what I might do, since he's attacking anyway, no question about it. Well, actually, we could just take a step back. 2, 4, 6. On everybody. Yeah. Shoot once. Yeah, I could have put the shield on, on him that way, but... Uh, I think it's better to just get, like, a free attack here. Okay, I assume this guy has less armor than this guy. Like, this this looks like cloth, and that looks like it might be bone or metal or something. We hit. Very good. Take a step back. Take a step back. So now they... Neither of them get any attacks. Now they did get in melee with my... Oh, what the hell? The sand AP thing must only be, like, three. Huh. Because it costs uh, two to go across the sand. They move three tiles, two, four, six. And then they use the sand. Alright, well, we get this set up. Oh, shit. Alright. 
No choice but to bust out the wharf work, really. I could have gotten my knife out, I guess. I should have moved him back further, now that I think about it. I'm gonna need the RNG to, to play slightly nicer with me here. Of course, they hit their attacks. Oh, God. Oh, man, this is no joke. I'm gonna have to think this uh, through more. Maybe you shouldn't take arena fights on day one. Here we go. Only the strong survive. Keep it up, honey. You're doing great. <laughs> no, we're, we're totally done. There's no way. You need to be gladiators. Well, we might actually win this. Alright, the sole survivor is rogue shenanigans. Was it worth it? Do I actually lose all the stuff that my guys had? Because that would be pretty, pretty sad. I know you can't loot, but... Rogue Shenanigans is now a pit fighter. What, is, what does that mean? I heard there were traits you could get. He dipped his toes into the brutal profession of arena fighting and did so without dying. So far, this character has fought in one match and won it. Well, that doesn't do anything for me. The weak should fear the strong. <laughs> we, just, we just lost two of our guys, though. <laughs> two of our good companion bros. We also lost all that armor which is uh, and, and weapons, which is something I'm more concerned about. Um, I'm going to give a student to this guy. Re you want me to reset? No, no, no. We gotta, we gotta survive. <laughs> we can't, we can't just give up. Although I probably, probably should. Um, you are now playing shitty lone wolf. It's true. And you can't play normal lone wolf. <laughs> hey, you'll see. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know, maybe I will restart, and we'll just uh, play it, like, serious and safely. I think you just need you need better gear um, in order to do arena early and safely. Uh, if I had had, like, three guys with spears and shields, you know, um, the lone wolf has appeared in the desert, not as natural environment. <laughs> Day one arena is eating mutagenic chunks, yeah, like, like in DCSS. He said this was the serious run. Well, I was serious, but I also needed to test the uh, arena. But yeah, you know what? We'll we'll stick with it. We'll we'll bring the we'll bring the company back. I assure you. First of all, let's hire one of these indebted guys. I want to see if he can't go past level seven. Uh, no morale check triggered for non-indebted allies dying. He's always content being in reserve. Oh, he's got impatient. That's very good. I would like to know if he could go past level 7. I assume he can. I think that's unique to the Manhunter start. Let's see. I could hire another one of these dudes. Oh, whoa. That's a very cheap gambler. This guy has stars and melee skill and range skill. It's not bad. This guy has stars and... Fatigue and range defense will make a good shield, bro. Can we even afford? Can we even afford weapons, though? Is the thing like we don't? <laughs> we don't have money. Um, I can buy a pitchfork, but if I buy another one, yeah, two more days. Oh, interesting. You don't have to pay indebted. Yeah, I bet you this only goes to level seven because you don't have to pay him. Alright, we, we literally do not have the money. Three dudes at level 3 or 4 with really early spiking perks is when you want to start arenaing. Gifted Colossus Adrenaline. Do you still want to use Adrenaline though, I wonder? Okay, this is a caravan escort mission. Um, this is a delivery mission. Dahab, about a day west from... by road. Uh... Let's take the caravan mission. Adrenaline is still really good in arena fights. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, one AP cost is really not that much. Right. Ooh, 
We shouldn't be attacked. I, I mean, it's a very short mission. Typically, I wouldn't take early uh, caravans, but a horde of bandits. There really shouldn't be that many. It's day one, you know. Plus, we would have caravan guards helping us. Okay. We're not going to fight Nomads. So we learned our lesson about that. We're just, we're just going to do some delivery missions, basically. And build up our money and get our guys equipped. The Battle Brothers early game experience. <laughs> we're, we're now delivery men. We're not exactly going to have a steamroll this game. Considering I've lost two of my bros. My good bros. The real trick is to hire a bunch of slaves, if you're in the south, and just use them as cannon fodder, perhaps. They didn't nerf gifted? Yeah, you kind of have to take it. Okay. This is a nomad mission. Way too good and too flexible. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite strong. Okay, I don't have the money to hire another indebted. Um... I do have the money now to buy a pitchfork, which it appears there are not any more of those. What are the skills like on these guys again? It's okay, melee attack. We need shields is what we need. The mallet guy needs to be have his mallet traded out pretty much immediately. Alright, we'll just take the delivery mission. There's a net. Should definitely take that. Nets are important for the arena. I think you shouldn't do the arena without without nets, now that I think about it. Two nets per guy. If we had had nets in that fight, we would have uh, we would have crushed it. Probably. You know, it's a shame that they didn't add, like, fast speed 3 in the base game. There's a mod that does that, but I gotta tell you, it'd be, it'd be nice to be able to make this move faster, you know. My dude is crawling along this road. Gotta play that poacher start for ultimate speed. Comfy desert walking only. <laughs> yeah, Mero, I should have I should have learned my lesson from the Romans. The Womans. Have I looked at the retinue yet? Um, nope. I don't really know much about that. I understand it's like a non-combat thing. Where you can have guys that sort of... You get a poacher movement speed guy? Where do I even look at the retinue? Hey, my father was a woman. <laughs> biggest, biggest dickus. A joke that... No one will catch the reference to unless they're very old. Top right, you think? I'll take a look in a second. Um, turban helmet, 4,500. The silk looks different now. Oh wait, no, those, that's just the cloth. Uh, there was no silk before. This is the cloth icon, except colors changed, I think. <laughs> yeah, Mero knows what's up. Uh... There's a Fire Lance here. I would buy that if I had the money, but I don't. Another composite bow. Okay. Um, there's a day tailor. Boom. Hire him. How's the run looking? We lost two guys immediately in the arena. It was a it was a bad time. No farmers in the desert is a big reason not to want to start down here. That's it's okay. Detailers are good enough. Can I get a weapon for that, guys? Is there any cheap thing available? 
There is. And we still have one more day on money, so we need to... Started with arms and legs, you're off to Kenshi. Okay, have fun, man. Thieves over farmers. Yeah, thieves are great. Really, really good. Hunt down what terrorizes to hub. Okay, I can't imagine that beasts in the desert are very fun to fight. Uh, let's... Let's try. Let's try to defeat nomads with our four guys. We'll suicide the indebted... Um, and we'll get some loot here. The thing that's frustrating about the arena is you don't get to loot your enemies or your allies, so if you lose your, your own guys, um, that seems very, very bad. Yeah, monks are really good in this game for events. Okay. Nomad cutthroats. So these are, these are the th souped-up thugs. Curious what kind of horrible abominations you could find here. Well, you can find hyenas. All right, which one of these guys is the indebted? Uh, this guy. So we'll sort of put him up a little bit. Uh, actually, we'll step back. Yeah, it's true, the hedge knights can sort of kill each other. Are they not gonna approach me? I like cultist bannermen, personally. Because cultist events are cool, if you can get them. Optimal sand men's. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sort of circle around them, and we're going to start the fight against the guys without shields uh, via our war forks, and hopefully get some early kills on these dudes. They're not going to engage me. There's there's no particular reason for me to engage them until I have the the perfect uh, positioning, you know. Uh, the new shields. Well, unfortunately, I almost immediately lost the dude with his shield. Uh, but I think they were actually they had better range defense, like 20 instead of 15. I think I forget I forget what wooden shields had. I think wooden shields are what like 15, 15, 15. Or is that wrong? Alright, they're repositioning. That's obnoxious. We're going to have to attack into the shields, I guess. But yeah, we lost our Fire Lance, which is uh, totally, totally cucked. Heater is 25-15, tower is 15-25, 15-20 isn't a bad option for lighter shields. Yeah. Yeah, they're repositioning their shield guys to be right in front. The AI, I think the AI might have gotten smarter in this, uh, in this expansion pack. Because I don't remember them doing this before. Alright. So we'll pass, we'll pass the round and then we'll go in. They're shield walling. They're they're really dumb though, because they're they're shield walling away from each other, so they're not getting the benefit, the extra benefit of shield wall. It's interesting. Excellent six turns. Excellent one turn. Haha. <laughs> The shield wall is off, but unfortunately I, I set this up wrong. Why are they behind me? I, I circled around. Um, I think what we want to do is move like this and then pass again and just wait for one of these turns where, where they're not shield walled. This sounds... I'm sure this seems very tedious, but... Um, I need to take all the benefits I can, I can get here. So they'll keep shield walling, then they'll, they'll spend a turn recovering. Trivial optimal. <laughs> Indeed. Game always, game beginning always requires cunning. 
Well, I've already lost my two good guys, so... I'll die if I don't play this meticulous. Hey, Slick City, what's up, man? Got robbed off of two Battle Brothers. <laughs> it's true. The desert sure is flat. It's, uh, unfortunately, it's got sand in it, which can uh, pocket sand my face. Well, I had to, te I had to test the arena. Um, I didn't know if it would... I didn't know the, the relative strength levels of the level two, uh, the level two nomad, and it basically is a raider from what I can tell. So it was definitely not the right choice. Although it could have been done if I had uh, done a few delivery missions first. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Axe in six turns, one turn, two turns. Yeah, I did. I did let them tag my archer man. I definitely screwed up there. There's no question about it. Nice. Yeah, um, these are what I consider to be practice runs, although I'm, I'm going to play this one out even if, if it's a really bad, you know, really bad start, so to speak. He's not going to move forward and attack. Interesting. I actually kind of wanted my indebted guy to die, not uh, not Hakan. Although Hakan can die, his his stars are okay, but not that great. Melee defense, uh, resolve, no fatigue, no melee attack. Good. I'm really tempted to risk a hit here just so I can shatter these three, but I'm I'm not gonna. Yeah, I think that's probably correct, Rook Shenanigans. Or, 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 just take freaking, think about it, you could have six nets on everybody, and then everybody has a, a reach weapon. I mean, GG. You know? What? No! <laughs> Hakan, your shield wall, or spear wall. Come on, bruh. Okay, sadly we're getting a penalty to our attack here. But we hit anyway. Our damage is kind of split up here, which is no good. It's okay. Okay, I don't want to move up, but I'm... Uh, no, we can wait, because this turn's done. So, what we'll do is we'll take a step forward like this, and then we'll go up next turn so we can't run away. Lost slightly more than I intended here. How much do I care about killing this guy versus making sure that I win this fight? Uh, I think I care about winning this fight. Stepping up Daruna's morale. And to make sure Enish uh, doesn't die here, although it does mess with my accuracy. Hey, pointy six are valuable at this point in the game. Oh shit, he's coming back. There's, there's no way he's not going to run away at this point. Uh, run them down. I would I would legitimately rather lose this guy than lose this Militia Spear. Oh, Roach. Oh, you're right. This guy is Roach Shenanigans. I thought I named him Enish. Alrighty, Trial by Fire. Um, Hakan has brain damage, which now apparently exposes the brain. <laughs> I guess that's like a like a suture suture scar or something. Mm. 
Got a shield. Hakan got buffed. Yeah, brain damage is a good thing. Alright. Slug City is our brain damage day, Taylor. And our gambler will be uh, green eggs and slam. Remember to put lotion on your brain, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, he'll get one. All right, we're gonna take gifted because why? Why wouldn't you take gifted? As far as helmets go, cover that thing up. Yeah, gifted is pretty much a must-take, in my opinion. Uh, these Saifs can use the Gash ability to cause injuries, but uh, I don't particularly care about that. Hey, C Black 47 how you doing, man? Historian. These guys have interesting events. Okay. Um, what's this contract? No, we're not, not doing a beast contract. I imagine they're still quite hard in the early game. I'd like to pick up another helmet. Pretty good. We need armor as well. And we need knives um, so we can start getting equipment from enemies, yeah. No, we don't, we don't, we shouldn't need medical supplies yet. Have I gotten to any of the endgame events before? Yeah, not not on stream, but yeah. Some bombs in the alchemical. Yeah, the um, the alchemist is awesome. It's just that it's very expensive at this point in the game. Um, like the fire potions look like they could be great, but we just don't have the money in the early game to to get them. That's a very cheap handgun. That's only. Yeah, it's only 3,000. Huh. Okay, I'd like to hire some more slaves. One more day. Uh-oh. Sell those swords. Okay. Let's go back to the other city-state and do another mission. Remember to check out the retinues. Let's do that. It's all locked. Uh, we need Renown to hire more non-combat followers. Attain at least great in order to unlock this seat. Where's the easiest seat? There we go, 250. Okay. So we need a little bit more renown before we can do anything. Oh wait, donkey. Buy cart space. Oh shit. Interesting, that's not an ambition anymore. Hmm. I, prob I probably should just like restart so that we don't have this super cucked um, beginning. So we can more quickly get to some of that stuff, you know? It is kind of a shame just like how much better the starter bros are. Whoa, hello. Um, wait a minute. Can 
Can I lure these guys into super cracked beginning with 60 melee attack? Well, that's that's the thing. Is uh, you get three of those guys rather than just two, or rather than just one? Are the yeah? That's guaranteed. Is this is this the tier one or the tier two? I think this is the tier one, in which case we can just kill them. Out outlaws are tier one or tier... No, that's tier two. So it's cutthroats and then outlaws. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm definitely just gonna restart this. <laughs> um, super cucked beginning. Let's uh, let's have an actual run, and then we can keep our our starter bros, and I won't I won't restart again. We'll just play it through. Um. Now that I know how the arena works and whatnot. Enish Resurrection. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So you got the same guys again. Quick to the arena. No, not this time. <laughs> not this time. Actually, we'll make we'll make Enish the, the two-hander guy, who will probably not be two-handed for for long. Um shenanigans. Yeah, it's just so much melee attack, you know, on these guys, and such good traits that it's uh, silly to... So yeah, like, we're not going to take the arena because it's a two-skull two skull arena immediately. Yeah, 60 plus is, is the, the real path, although I, I don't... I don't really think it's correct to be using two-handed weapons uh, in the early game. You're just going to lose your stuff, you know? Unless it's a reach weapon. So pick up a net. Where's the Sneed man? Uh, we'll, we'll get him. We'll pick him up soon. Tools. Um, pitchfork. Okay, pick up a knife for taking equipment. Okay, um, we're gonna pick up a Militia Spear. This, there's actually good stuff to buy here, amazing. Uh, pick up an Adarga Shield. Uh, really decent armor here, we'll get that. Okay. He needs to be busted out. The feds got him. <laughs> yes, indeed. Alright, let's do a hire. Um, a nomad. I want to hire some thieves. But I don't see any, unfortunately. Oh, you can hire gladiators. Interesting. Very expensive. This is like hedge knight tier, tier cost. Forty-two daily, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll hire this day tailor. He's got melee defense and fatigue. He'll make a good shield, bro. Um, for now, we'll give him a spear or a pitchfork, rather. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna keep our boy alive here. So we'll we'll give. Uh, apparently, his name is Nuh. We'll give him a little trial by fire. Have him stand on the front lines, yeah. Actually arrange our guys like we should by putting this archer in the back. Give knives. Give more knives. I would like to actually use this mallet, but eh. Lone Wolf 12 rule. Yeah, I don't like the Lone Wolf start for that reason, actually. Cat potion. Huh.
Okay, I think we'll hire like one more guy. But not from here. I don't see anything here that I would want. Let's see if there's a delivery mission. Okay, that's a beast mission. No thanks. Beat down the uprising of the indebted. How hard could it possibly be to beat up slaves? <laughs> we'll, we'll try this. Um, it's a one skull mission, but then again, so was that one uh, nomad cutthroat mission. Let's uh, let's pick up our boy, the shepherd. I typically don't like to hire shepherds, but we need another guy. Oh, he's good. Oh, he's sick. Star and melee skill, two stars in melee defense. We, we got a shield, bro. Pick up another knife. Pick up another shield. It's too bad there's no militia spears available. Do we just have him fight with a knife? That's kind of silly. We still have this mallet, but I just I don't want to put it on anybody because uh, it's dangerous. We certainly could throw it on Enish, but... Um, it's, it's just risky without really, really, really good armor, you know? It's the Super Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to keep him alive. Let's call him Albero Zuko. He herded boats. Oh, goats. I was gonna say that makes no sense at all. I like saving 200 for after gifted on 200 man once you have a good armor for him. Yeah, armor armor is the the key thing to have a real two, a dedicated two-hander guy. Otherwise, it's just kind of suicidal. Okay. Um I guess I'll put the I'm going to put the two-headed mallet on on uh, green eggs and slam just in case. Alright, what is this? 50 armor. We're going to want to keep Albert Zuko alive, so we'll give him the good armor. Huh. I do wish there was a better melee weapon. I, I guess we could buy the Saif. Backline hogging the headgear. Yeah, we'll, we'll change that out in a second. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do about this weapon situation. Alright, this'll this will be fine, I guess. Um We'll just have him do have him do a lot of shield walling, basically. Seven days on money, five days on food. Alright. Bows are not based. Well, guns are based. Okay, I'm gonna wanna get my stuff repaired first here. Okay, there we go. Alright, slaves. Some indebted, some nomad cutthroats. Oh no! You didn't tell me there was gonna be there was gonna be uh, actual guys here. <laughs> Holy shit! No! Fuck you! <laughs> this is a one skull mission? Are you serious? You gotta be shitting me with this. They, I don't think they balance this very well. How is it possible that there are twelve dudes here in a one one skull mission at the very start of the game? It's time to rise up, boys. <laughs> I don't know if cutthroats are supposed to be here. No, there's there's no way you could win this. Not unless you could just let the super shepherd at them. It's not possible. You'd, you'd have to have better guys. Um, the naked fork guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could kill the indebted really quickly. They don't really have armor, but... Twelve dudes like this will rout if you planned well and had more than five dudes. Right. Well, there's, there's no choice. You gotta... I gotta retreat. I gotta not do this mission. Okay, we, um... I think they changed this because I acted before them and I pressed the retreat button. 
And previously, when you did that, um, they wouldn't chase. The game fully expects you to get a full party at the start. No, you 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 can't really can't really do that. You don't have the money to do it on low uh, economy or low uh, low money. You won't have the equipment to outfit them for one, and for two, you just won't be able to hire or afford to, to hire all of them. I mean, this isn't like a super hard fight or anything, you just you just need more dudes for it. I wonder if it would be even more scaled if I uh if I had more guys. Six guys in you as your starting squad. Well I wouldn't want to do this fight even with six guys, to be honest with you. But I potentially could, I guess. Hire this historian. <laughs> Gotta do science. Hey, the, histor the historian is actually decent. Uh, he has uh, he has two resolve stars and one melee and one defense. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what to do about about this situation. Like, in theory, we could just, like, roll our dudes up in there. Not with 30 base. Yeah, 30 base is too low to be a banner guy. Maybe, like, a fire potion. Anyway, I think we have to cancel the contract, which is unfortunate. Um, well, the, the indebted will die really, really quickly. Um... Could I potentially lure some more enemies into that fight? Is the real question. That's true, although this is the city with the arena. Uh, do all the cities have an arena? Or is it just this one? I mean, we could just, like, go up north. Generally, it's only one. Aw. Yeah, so we don't want to piss off the city. We don't want them to... Well, we, we can... It's not going to make them hostile to us to cancel the contract. <laughs> I almost want to take the fight and just let the trash guys die, you know, and try to keep my dudes alive, but I just don't think it's going to work. Like, we don't have the firepower. So we'll, we'll cancel. Which is probably sending my renown into the actual negatives. Incompetence! <laughs> Uh, okay. Two nomads. I almost want to. I almost want to take the arena fight. Um, now that I have nets, get bullied, nerd. That is happening. Uh, we only have the one net. If we get some more nets, we'll we'll go take the arena fight. Let's. Man, screw this. Let's see, four more days on money. Let's just head out to Al Hazif, I guess, or maybe even to the north. Actually, yeah, let's head to the north. There's going to be more more contracts available up here. Let's see if we can't find some delivery missions or something and get a nice base of money so that I can come back and actually do some of these southern missions with, uh, with a team that's not terrible, you know? Or hey, maybe we can fight some thugs as God intended. Things we've learned, don't do arena, don't do indebted whipping missions. I can't wait to see the rest of the content we can't do. <laughs> I know, right? Well, you could totally do arena right off the bat. If you... If you had enough nets for sale. Yeah, you do have to uninstall the mods, Franks. From what I understand. Okay, this is thugs, I think. So we'll take the generic mission. Uh, we got our bro fist brawler here. Let's maybe hire him after we come back. Your game is crashing. Try. Are you sure that you uninstalled everything? Two-handed flanged mace man on day two. Huh. Well, Gladiator st starts you... Bro, are you, are you shitting me? There's raiders in this. 
Alright. We're gonna be the most incompetent band ever. Uh, unarmed is a complete meme. You really don't want to do unarmed. Road abode. Is that the same mission except on a different town? <laughs> they just co-opted it. Hopefully that would just be thugs. Maybe the game no longer scales to mercenary band size? That's That would be... That would make me fairly butthurt. Um, a long way to the north. No. Follow the tracks. Okay, this should be a thug mission. Unless they've changed everything about this game. This is, this is going to be a thug mission. This is like the most basic mission there is. Follow the tracks and get stuff back. Alright, many brigand thugs. I believe I believe in myself for this mission. <laughs> we can do this. Desert is a very hard area. Time to get shit housed. I hope not. Uh, we do have a bro with a golden dog here. I'm gonna be happy to steal that. Um... Train is okay. Let's let's wait. Kind of see if they approach. Yeah, I was gonna say they have to. This is sort of interesting. Actual terrain, I know, right? Some raised stuff. This wouldn't be terrible if we got two guys up on the high ground. Two uh two shield guys though, not not this dude. Let's move this guy over here. And what we'll do is we'll send dudes up and we'll 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 blow up these guys with the Well actually we, we could use the ignite this direction, 78%, or we could do it to the low ground and do more damage. I'm a little worried about this cleaver, but let's let's do this. This is um well it won't do more damage, but it'll be more accurate. Nice. This guy here. Somehow missing eighty-seven percent. Wonderful. Okay, uh, Golden Dog guy is a problem, but hopefully, because he's attacking from the low ground onto my guy with a shield, hopefully that'll miss. Um, we will also have our archer kind of focus him down. Nice double hit at like thirty something percent. That's not terrible. All right, now it is unfortunate that uh, Alberzuka just has a knife. Um, I think maybe I just want to run up and shield wall, which is a little bit silly. Um, or I could just run up and attack. We really don't want to lose him, but I can't afford to not put him in combat. Okay, the morale went down there. Maybe we do just attack. Damn. Okay, we're going to step forward here. Try to take down this guy with the pick. Damn. Okay, so Rasil the historian is gonna get his ass. Uh, you know he's gonna get he's gonna get his ass uh, owned by Mr. Flail here. Nothing I can really do about that. So we'll just swing. Get a pretty good hit. All right, come on. Don't don't die, Super Shepherd. <laughs> I've got a shield for a reason. <laughs> Right, this guy is going to act in three turns. Let's try to take him out. Nice. Big morale penalties for everybody. Good. Running. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, because he's already running, I'm not going to attack him. We could... Uh, Actually, wait with rogue shenanigans and attack the golden dog guy as he approaches. Uh, or we could run up and hit this dude who is in the process of owning Albrazuko. I'd really like to get his, uh, I think that's padded leather. But I, I don't think we have the prerogative really to, to play around. Um, I, wonder what the, I wonder what the accuracy will be against him. Probably not great. Um... We're gonna wait, because if we can kill this, their morale might all go down by a lot. 
Yeah, you, you are in danger, Alvarezuko. <laughs> Missed with both shots. Oh, wow. He took two steps forward. That's, that's curious. Right, 72 on this thug. 72 on him. The Golden Dog, even though I'm more afraid for Albert Zuko, the Golden Dog can basically insta-kill people, so... Take him down. Probably shouldn't have done that, though, because now Raziel doesn't get to do anything. Um, we'll send him over here. Good. Good. Shield wall coming through for me. Sick. Super sick. This is going to be a no-loss uh, fight, I think. What's the base damage on on the Militia Spear versus the Fire Spear, I wonder? Fire Lance, 30 to 35. 25 to 30. Yeah, the Fire Lance is just straight up better. Does it have an accuracy bonus, though, like the Spear? Militia Spear, plus 20% chance to hit. Fire Lance, plus 20% chance to hit. Fire Lance is just a better Militia Spear. Super cool. Okay, let's see. Turn done, turn done. Uh, wavering, wavering, neither are hurt. Okay, I don't get to shoot these dudes. Um, unless I move. Cool. Alright, Albert Zuko. 43% chance to hit, 42% chance to hit. Just a knife, um... I could use a net, I guess. That's, uh, we've learned that those don't actually have damage. That's only, uh, the spider, spider webs that do that. So I think we're just gonna have to roll the bones again in shield wall. I, I could actually do, like, two knockbacks or something. Um, actually, yeah, why don't we, why don't we knock this guy back at least? So now he can't attack me. I wonder if... It'd be nice if I could see the next turn's order. So that I could see exactly, um... Who gets to move? I imagine at least one of my guys is going to move first, so we'll shove and, and fail. Damn. Uh, let's move forward and mess with his morale. Oh, he's full-on fleeing now. Sick. He's hurting the enemy away from himself. <laughs> Hell yeah. Everybody's running now. Um, as a result, we're going to try to get the surround. Actually, there's, there's no way we can get the surround. Not enough uh, AP, or rather not enough fatigue to, to puncture this guy, unfortunately. Yep, we destroyed his armor. <laughs> Lame. I was trying to get that padded leather. Oh well. Oh, hey, there's a nice little bot here trying to advertise to me. Um, let me just ban that. Alrighty, well we lost nothing. We finally did a mission that didn't end in horrible failure. We got a bunch of weapons. Sadly, no armor. I couldn't really set up a nice knifing there to get the armor safely. Uh, we did get a nice hat. Wonder if they accept a Bitcoin. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Somehow the historian arrived. I, uh, or historian survived, rather. I don't really want to... I don't, I don't really want to keep him around, but maybe we will. Actually, he's got, he's got okay stars, so... We'll go ahead and give him a name, I suppose. And we'll get our duly earned reward from here. Slowly making our reputation slightly less terrible. Plenair Zen will tell us the story of his people. <laughs> 
So I wonder if it'll re-roll the enemies at the Ruined Abode if I try to go here. I know that Brigand's always had a chance of uh, having having uh, the Tier 2 Raiders, you know, even on Day 1, but it's usually just thugs. Um, we could potentially, if we got lucky, roll up in there and uh, get decent armor and stuff really early. Uh, let's see, seven more days on money. Um, we're actually almost out of food. You know what? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this brigand mission. We're gonna see if it rerolls. And I'm gonna be real butthurt if it doesn't. <laughs> oh, it did. It rerolled it. Okay. All right. So we'll camp for a bit. Because my guys are hurt. That's annoying with that cut arm sinew. But not too bad. I can just uh, can fight with that and have him be more of a tank. With his 50 armor. <laughs> Seems like there's, there's more shit on the field in general than before. Big axe here. Nice pitchfork. More obstacle variety, yeah. Seems like it. Really like to pick up more archers if I can. We're really gonna try to focus on that. Okay, we're gonna wanna kill these guys uh, with the axes as fast as possible because they could very much slaughter my dudes. Hmm. So I could roll up an attack, or I could roll this way an attack. Yes. Um, I don't get to I don't get to use my bow here, or I'll hit my own guys probably. So we'll just take a step forward, boom, um, and take him out. Nice. That means I get to put Alborazuko here. Oh, he's he's full on fleeing. This is working out very well. Fortunately, that means that Planar Zen doesn't get to really do anything. Um, let's let's actually just wait with him uh, past turn. I don't want to move him forward because he doesn't have a shield. Yep, the flail does not give a shit. Oh no! Who was that? That was uh, that was that was Albrazuko. He's been struck down. Uh, he's not dead. That's a shame, though, because he has really good, really good stars. Um, but that's what happens when you don't really have armor uh, and you're just relying on a shield. Sometimes it doesn't work, especially when you're dealing with a dude with a flail who ignores that entirely. Um. Okay. Split hand, that's good. Oh, I shouldn't have moved him here. That was a mistake. I should have moved him there. I just cucked myself out of an attack. Got sheep wrecked. <laughs> yeah. So, technically I should attack this guy, but I, I want his armor. So... Oh, I don't have a knife. Shit. This is too dangerous. Forget the armor, you know. Okay, what does Alberzuko have? He has a maimed foot. Should we keep him should we keep him around? I think there's a there's a retinue thing for guys that have had permanent injuries, so I think maybe we will keep him. And put him in our retinue if I figure out how that works. Um, Abrazuko. 
he has he actually has range skills, so we could make him an archer and not care too too much about the rain the maimed foot. Although with the fact that I really want to go for handguns, um, you do kind of have to be able to move a bit. Because the range is not ideal. Just throw him in front and tank hits until he dies alternatively. That That's certainly an option. Turn him into the ultimate uh, permanent injury guy. Alright, so I'm going to be greedy and give all my guys student. The ones that leveled up, which is a lot. Okay, we'll level up our archer. Boom! Uh, we'll give him range defense, plus four, very good. That's only a plus two to resolve. Um, well, we're going to take it anyway. Okay. Rogue shenanigans got cucked on his melee skill. Let's see, he's a companion. We want to keep him alive. He's got... He's meant to be the tank companion because he gets HP and he gets fatigue. Uh, we'll probably turn him into a nimble bro, actually. Or maybe he's supposed to be the bannerman, actually, because of that star and resolve. Kind of a low base to be a bannerman, though. 42 is not its not terrible, but it's not really good. Um, I would like to give him melee skill and melee defense, but they got I rolled plus ones on both, so just go in this direction, I guess. Once we get some decent armor, we'll make him a shield bro, put him in front. Uh, plein air zen. Gonna go for melee defense. Um, he has two stars in resolve, but it's just too low to do anything with. Give him the two attack power, or the two melee attack, rather. Wait a minute. Um, his HP is low, but it's only a plus two here. We'll, we'll give him the fatigue. Yeah. Give him a shield as soon as possible. Enish, of course, just continues being a badass melee guy. Okay. Stormworm, melee defense, melee attack, and fatigue. Wonder if um, if you get struck down, if you get no experience for a fight. I suspect that's what happened, and that's why Albrazuko is not leveled up. Uh, no, this is um, this is the Southern Mercenary start, which is basically just the same thing as the basic three three Mercenary start that uh, that you can do in the base game, except that you start in the South, because I wanted to get kind of the most basic introduction to the to the game. Okay, we've got a caravan mission um, to Gross Holes. <laughs> why is why is the name of the town Gross Holes? That's uh, it's kind of nasty. There is uh, this is interesting. This is in a forest, right? So I suspect that we could pick up some archers here. Yeah, the south is pretty rough. Um, I might take this caravan as much as I hate doing caravan missions, just so I can pick up some archers potentially. And then come back to the south as a true champion. Is that is that what that translates to, blokes? Does that literally mean big wood? <laughs> Alright, basic cleavers we can sell. Pickaxe we can probably sell too. I might keep the woodcutter's axe. 40 to 70 damage on the mallet. 35 to 70 on the woodcutter's axe. Yeah, keep the mallet, I guess. I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of that, Enish. <laughs> we do need some food, so let's pick up some ground grains. We're low on on money. Oh, wait a minute. We picked up salt at some point. We can get a, an amazing price for that. Boom! We must have got that from uh, one of the one of the um, 
one of the thugs. Alright, we just picked up a war fork. Which is just way better than the mallet for the time being, due to the accuracy. And the fact that I can put him behind. I think the goal is going to be to get some fire lances now. Instead of militia spears, I want fire lances for everybody. And armor, of course. So the question is, do I want to take the caravan up north? And I think I... I think I do. We'll just see maybe if we can pick up a poacher or two. Do Hostamish. <laughs> there's a new, um... There's a new setting in this game, by the way, blokes, where the entire map is not revealed at the start, which we might try next time. What the fuck? No! Fuck you! That's gotta be a bug. They started right next to my guys. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you... Are you fucking me? Also, why is this a forest? I was on a road. I don't even think I was in a forest. That is, that is the most retarded shit I've seen in my entire life. No, it doesn't, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. They... <laughs> what is happening? This didn't exist in the base game. Um, this is, this is entirely new to the expansion. Um, I mean, I saw that it was Raiders and I was like, okay, fine. I'll just run if it's too, too much stuff. But they're not supposed to spawn directly in front of your face <laughs> I mean look at this the the caravan's way back here and instead of spawning next to the caravan I'm up here that's well no this this is this is just unintended it's got to be there's there's no way that the devs intended did they just not test this I wonder because this is this is bizarre it doesn't make any sense why would my dudes be so much further ahead of the caravan? Typically, you start right here. I mean... This is dumb as hell. Turn turn one. I've never been attacked on turn one before. It may be intended. Maybe, but... I... That's frustrating, man. Um... I don't care that really that we lost the, the Albert Zuko guy because he's he was permanently injured anyway, but they hid in the bushes, I guess. <laughs> Bush ambush. I mean it's like did they did they really need to put something in the game that makes me even less inclined to do caravan missions? Because they were already super suboptimal to do. Um, in the early game at least. But now there's now there's this. Okay, um, well, I, I guess I'll just, you know, fight it out, because I don't really have a choice otherwise. Let's see. My three main guys, the companions, are who I want to keep alive. Green Eggs is one of them, and he's, he's definitely going to die here. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's fair, blokes, but they were never, I mean, they were always sort of potentially brutal. We weren't going very far, so I took it. Um, but they were never, um, it was never, like, turn one beheading brutal, you know? I, I agree, that's kind of silly. Let's attack the, the brigand thug, it's the most chance to hit, and we could potentially mess with morale here. This is so goofy. Uh, right, and the terrain is bad too, because it's forest, so 3 AP each. So we move here, and then we don't even get to attack. And of course my caravan guys are just like, oh, you're, you're doing a good job out there. We're just gonna stand back and do nothing. <laughs> good job, bros. So I'm puncturing, because I was hoping I could get a quick kill, but... Nope. Uh. 
Any thoughts on the patch notes, expansion aside? Um, I don't know what all is separate from the patch versus the expansion. Um, I think that the patch also um, destroys the Endom cycle, which is going to change the, the state of the game quite a lot because uh, you're going to have Adrenaline cost 1 and Indomitable cost uh, 5 AP, which I think is probably the most um, the most significant change as far as the base game goes. Um, I don't know if the whole fearsome thing is going to be all that interesting in the base game because there's no handguns, um, and I feel like the, the fearsome overwhelm combo um, is really going to work best on the new AoE stuff, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Well, you know what, Green Eggs? You're going to be very warm. But yeah, we've, we've learned something. We have, we have learned something from this. Wow, he just killed his own guy. Um, which is actually kind of cucked, because that means I don't get any of his gear. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we've learned not to take care of end missions, and if we do, to flee, if, if it's... Because you do get the option to flee. Um, so what I should have done is, as soon as I saw raiders, there is a chance that you just immediately uh, are right, right up in melee with these dudes. So... You just don't do it. So I'm attacking this guy because um, presumably this raider is getting a penalty trying to attack my dude here. Uh, Enish is still alive. Rogue Shenanigans is still alive. We've still actually got our three companions, so I'm not super sad at this point. I can put my bow back on. It's cool. Yeah, I don't really like that either, blokes. Although, I mean, I will say that it was so overused that... Okay, R.I.P. Stormworm. Should have probably just moved Green Eggs out of the way. Oh! Oh, wow! Wonderful! <laughs> I think this is a this is a wipe. So it's interesting though. Um, this is definitely a change I didn't expect. Was he struck down or was he killed? Eh, fuck it. We'll find out later if we even win, which we probably don't. The caravan guards just chilling out back there. Oh man, this is really strange. Um, it's like the thing about caravan missions is if you if you abandon them, like any other mission, you lose a hundred down, right? And because you are totally at the at the whims of the, um, the caravan, right? Um, you, you kind of just have to fight whatever comes at you, unless you click the flea button before the fight starts. Um, you know, and before, you could you could take the fight, and you could say, okay, well, either I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to look at what's what's in the fight, I'm going to take a look at the raiders or whatever that spawned, and what the positioning in the terrain is like, and uh, what weapons they had, what armor they had, and if it looks like too much, I'm just going to flee now. Um, not an option anymore, and that's, uh, well, not always an option. I guess, I guess if the... I have to wonder if this can happen anywhere but, you know, forest. Uh, is this what point two six looks like? <laughs> yeah, this is point two six dungeon crawl stand soup. But yeah, I mean, no, that, was, that was that was absolutely brutal. Um, I guess it, you know, I guess it is intentional, but it's very surprising to me that they they put that in there, and I've never seen that in the base game, so I I suspect it is new. Um, just turn one beheadings are always exciting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but the lesson learned there is just don't do uh, caravan missions, and if you do, to uh, flee if it's uh, if it's on forest terrain where the battle starts and it's not it's not a trivial fight, um, because that situation was like okay, it's got raiders, and I knew that it would be a tough fight, but I wanted to get an eye an eye on what they actually spawned with, and uh, what my caravan guys had 
because I was going to hide behind my caravan guys, basically. And with their help, we probably could have taken that fight. In fact, we almost won it, uh, even with the absolute bullshit that happened, you know. Um, so it wasn't like an unbeatable fight by any, uh, any means, but it uh, probably was with them spawning right up next to me and uh, beheading our poor Albert Zuko on turn one. Uh, we will restart, uh, probably with a different origin. Let me take uh, a slight break. The uh, the tether troublemakers did not <laughs> did not fare well as a mercenary company. <laughs> they uh, they 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 were not particularly competent mercenaries. Um, the barkeep the barkeep doesn't remember us. And just uh, just pours another drink. R.I.P. Tether troublemakers. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rosecrypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave web browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.